Not half bad, really, is it? Not half bad. What's up, guys? What's happening? It's me again. We're in the Marlborough Sounds, believe it or not. And the particular sound we're in is called the Palooza Sound. And the particular bay is actually completely off-grid. This is literally the end of a road, about 40 kilometres off of the main road. We've got no reception, but what we do have is a four-berth camper van, which I managed to get for a really, really good deal. I'm sharing it with a friend of mine. They're staying back there in the bay, but what I'm going to do... Let me just connect my little little tripod there. Okay, guys, we're here. All right. So like I said, we're in uh, Penzance Bay, which is completely off-grid in what's called the Palooza Sound, which is one of four sounds that make up the Marlborough Sounds. Now, my face looks rather white at the moment. That's because I've got sunscreen on. It's 9.30 in the morning. We're two minutes into the walk. Two minutes of an apparent three hours. Now, if they're telling me that nine kilometers is going to take three hours, I'm going to halve it. Okay, we're going to jog some, we're going to walk some, but we're going to make it happen. Three hours along the Palooza Sound here in the north of the South Island of New Zealand is absolutely incredible. The scenes, I mean, even just coming in here, knowing that you're completely off grid and knowing that, you know, we've got a camper van with all the facilities that make that possible, it's been incredible. Anyways, guys, here we go. Archer Track. Archer Track. Let's do this. All right, my friends. We're officially 1.4 Ks into the journey. Certainly not trying to break any records today, guys, but what we have come across is a random rope swing right in the middle of the track. It's actually a really, really nice track to, to walk slash jog down. It might be, you know, slightly humid, but as far as the intense actual rays of the sun hitting you, so far, so good. It's been completely covered. Every now and then you'll get a little glimpse of the bays, of the, um, the sound, the Marlborough sounds, but uh, at the moment, all we've got is a swing. Do I try it? Do I? I think I've got to. I think I've got to do it. This could be the last you ever hear of me, guys. Could be. Hope not. But it certainly could be. Jesus Christ, I hope this. Whoa. Now I'm not religious, but I do hope Jesus is on my side. Oh shit! <laughs> Woo okay. Oh. Jeepers creepers. It's not very forgiving down there. Anyways. On we go. Right guys, we're about two and a half k's round. That is indeed water. How good does that look? I mean honestly, this stage, it's actually hard. It's hard for me because every single time I turn a corner, every single time I get another glimpse of what is right in front of me, which is an incredible body of water surrounded by amazing mountains blue sky, a bit of cloud here and there, I mean, you can't beat it, this is New Zealand summer for you, but um, look, for me it's hard because I want to share everything, I want to share absolutely everything with you, but at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, being a, not only a successful content creator, but an effective one that does retain viewers, you know, there's, there's a certain thing of, of you know, sharing just, just too much, 
you know, condensing videos, cutting it down to the parts that really matter is not a bad idea, but it's something I'm still practicing. It's something I'm still not very good at. You know what I mean? So, being that we're almost a third of the way along the track, um, I think, I think I can turn the camera off safely and uh, see you guys when we're two thirds of the way. Actually, I tell a lie. One last thing, one last thing before I let you go. You get some music on, you get some beats that you really like, you know, and, and you you jog through something like this, it is it is awe-inspiring. It really is. It makes you think. And um, it's euphoric. It is euphoric. I haven't had a I haven't had a drop of alcohol. I haven't had a a fucking milligram of marijuana. But what I do have in spades is fucking inspiration, guys. Right now. Right here, right now, inspiration. Inspiration to continue creating content for my YouTube channel. And that continues today. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. But have a look at this. Have a look at that. Oh my lord. She's good. She's good, all right. Woo! Wow. Well, wow, well, guys. Wow, we. Wow, we indeed. <laughs> I'm going to have to just go with this. I mean, I really wanted to keep my phone in my pocket for another. Wow. Yeah, this is just lovely. Um, really wanted to keep my phone in my pocket for another half an hour or so, but I just simply couldn't. One, because I saw a bit of that approaching fast around the corner. But secondly, secondly, I want to take you back just quickly to a time back in the day, like I can seriously say that, I'm 31, 15 years ago basically to the day, I embarked on a 21 day uh, camp, I guess you could call it, called Outward Bound. And I'm pretty sure Outward Bound is, you know, a company, a brand that is, uh, it's got operations in, in many, many countries, but one, one country it's... I'm pretty sure it might have even been founded here in New Zealand, um, just around the corner actually, in a bay called Anakiwa, here in the Marlborough Sounds. But anyway, I'd been fascinated, I'd been completely and utterly fascinated, um, excited about one day getting my opportunity to go on Outward Bound, uh, just like my dad did, okay? So my dad, you know, ex so my dad, all throughout my, my childhood, talked about this incredible experience that he had in Anakiwa Bay here in the Marlborough Sounds. And so, you know, ever since I was five years old, ever since I could imagine what it was like, I'd wanted to go. So, saved up a bit of money for myself. Uh, my nana also gave me a bit of money, and as soon as I was 16, as soon as, as soon as I was old enough to give it a go myself, I did. So, what did we do? Well, we did heaps of stuff, but it was based within, um, you know, scenery such as this. And that's that's what sort of jogged my memory all those years back, you know, 15 years ago. And um, there's one experience that my dad explained to me when I was a kid, and it's the one experience that I'd, I'd always been the most fascinated about. And so you go there, you go to Outward Bound for 21 days, and about halfway through your, your stay, um, you know, it might be, I don't know, seven, eight at night, and the instructors will randomly come into your room and say, right, time to pack up. Pack your stuff, enough for two nights, okay? And it's eight at night, we're like, what? Well, we're gonna go to bed soon, what are you doing? Anyway, all packed by 10 o'clock, we jump on a boat, pitch black, there's no street lights out here, jump on a boat and uh, get taken around to a, a local bay. One that we hadn't been to before, had no idea where we were, middle of the night, thank god the instructors knew. Anyways, we jump off the boat, onto land, and uh, we all huddle round and, and the instructors hand out a bag, a paper bag to each of us. And in that paper bag are a set of instructions and some rations, some food rations. Uh, not only that, we also have a backpack um, of our own that we've packed, 
But as well as that, we've got a, a sleeping bag and we've got a canvas sheet and a rope, okay? So now you're sort of thinking, all right, what's happening here? What is happening here? How capable do these instructors actually think I am? But this is the moment that I'd actually been waiting for. This is the moment that my dad explained to me about. Um, and, and, and the thing I'm talking about is a two-night solo excursion. 16 years of age, no one else with me, except for the things on my back, a bit of food, a canvas, canvas tent, where you can use it as a tent. I mean, you can roll yourself up like a Christmas cracker if you really want to, but uh, I actually ended up using mine as a tent. And so basically, we all got into a line, I know this story's gone forever, but we got into a line and we started along a, a, a track very similar to this one. Very similar to this, and that's what made me think about it, because basically there was 14 of us, we started on the track, and you know, in the middle of the night, obviously we've got a torch. Actually, no, no, I didn't have a torch, which was even worse. But, super excited, so basically walking along a track like this, and you'll come to a little clearing, yeah, something like that, it wasn't much, and they'd say, right, Leroy, this is where you stop, and we'd say goodbye, and the 13 of us would continue along the track for another couple of minutes, and then there'd be another clearing, and they'd say, right, you, in here, and we'd say, see you later, lights off, boom. Now, I can't remember exactly what number I was, I certainly wasn't the first and I wasn't the last, I was somewhere in the middle, but I'll tell you what, as soon as they walk off, and you know, it's just you, just you and nature, you haven't set anything up, they haven't helped you, there's no lights, absolutely nothing. You get dropped off, right smack bang in the middle of fucking nowhere. No phones, <laughs> no reception, just the necessities to survive. And I tell you what guys, what an experience it was. I ate all of my food within the first day, and uh, all I was left with was my mind, um, a pad, and a pen. And I actually ended up writing a poem. I wrote a poem. And I wrote a paragraph, well you could say a paragraph, probably two to three lines, about each and every one of the 13 watch members. And I brought the poem back to the group and read it, and everyone loved it. And I'll tell you what guys, that was my story. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just coming up on halfway, which is... Uh, four and a half k's, which is almost three miles, and that, my friends, means we're halfway between Penzance Bay, which is where we started, and Elaine Bay, which is where we're finishing. So, I don't know what this is exactly, <laughs> but it is officially halfway. Should I go inside? Hell no! Here we are. Actually, what is that? That might be a... I don't know what that is. Either someone lives there, or it's a hut along the track for travellers. Oh no, this isn't good. What do we do? Left or right? I'm assuming right goes down to the water, left continues on. Left, right, left, right. This way. And just for fun, on my part, not so much yours, I'm going to specifically try and run <laughs> a mile under eight minutes along this trail. The next mile we do, which is coming up in about 150 meters so I'll put my bottle back in my backpack put my phone away get my beats going and we'll try and clock an eight minute mile along these trails which is gonna yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be tough not gonna lie that's five minute k's along the trails doable let's give it a shot but first I mean would you just have a look at it absolutely stunning Alright. 
You with me? Now I'll admit guys, I don't know I don't know about the accuracy of this being that we are out of reception, but we'll have to wait till we finish to actually check it. But for now Oh look my pace is completely gone. Oh no there we go. It must be accurate somewhat. Either way guys, that's three miles, 48 minutes, averaging 16 per mile, 16.39. Let's go, eight minutes. Oh, all right, almost there. 300 meters. Look, there's no way I could continue this pace. I'd have to slow down. Fuck. I am actually getting pretty tired but you're gonna stick with me for the next Woo! 100 meters 120 220 my bad 50 okay I tell a lie it's 50 now. 30. 20. 10. Fuck. Oh, shit. 10 minutes. Okay. That's literally not stopping. That's on average about a six and a half minute pace. Which, along these trails, is not bad. Not bad at all. And we continue. Have a look at it. I mean, seriously. All right. Ooh, seems to be a little less shade around these parts. But uh, what we do have, guys, is, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, this doesn't stop. This does not stop. These incredible, incredible views. This has got to be the best one yet. Wow, this is basically what we're what we've got on every single corner along this track except this one in particular doesn't have the foliage blocking it and oh my god. Oh well, I gotta take a photo. I gotta take a photo. Fire out, you see what I mean? Like what I do to be able to share this with each and every single one of you guys watching and girls. Look, I've got eight percent of my viewers as female, listed as female, <laughs> could be in between, who knows, but uh, anyways guys, I'm just strolling, I'm good to go, two k's to go of the Archer track, from Penzance Bay to Elaine Bay, and we clocked a 10 minute flat mile, I'll stick that in my pocket for a rainy day, what's that I can hear? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a boat. Can we catch it? Boom, there it is. Look at that. There she goes. Where to? Nobody knows. I just wanted, look, I've got my headphones in as many of you may have noticed, but uh, I just want to quickly show you the kind of euphoria that I go through at times whilst jogging along this trail. I mean, if you, if you could imagine having your Beats in, headphones, Beats, they don't need to be Beats, mine are, Power Beats in fact. Um, but they did cost me 150 back in the day and I, I'm still yet to really know for sure whether they're fake or, or real, but they've lasted. Anyways guys, this song came on and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's, let's jog along together to the beat, to the drop of Tsunami. It's pretty fucking good. Oh, makes you want to pick up the pace. Woo! Fuck yeah!
This is the absolute shit. Alright. Cool. This is officially going to be my last vlog entry until we get to Elaine Bay. I've just clocked a 13 minute 56 mile and uh, I'm pretty sure this track will finish just prior to hitting 6 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and get a decent one around about that same 10 minutes just for the last mile. So if I have to run past I will but I'll see you guys when we clock 6 miles along the Archer track, okay? So I'll see you shortly. No. So, oh, that's not fair. Oh, as soon as I left you, we just went on our steepest incline this entire trip. I feel like it's over. Let's keep going. I'm a little confused. We're at 8.6, 8.67 kilometers, and the track's officially nine, so. Probably pretty close. In fact, I'd say this is the beginning and the end. But like I said, I'm gonna continue running for another mile, so let's keep going. Fuck me. Wouldn't be the Marlborough Sounds without another incline. With inclines, there are declines. And there's also views like this. Wowee. This is Elaine Bay, guys. Officially. Officially. This is it. Might even get a thumbnail. All right, that's it. There is one thing, there is one thing I'd absolutely love to do and that's jump in the water. So I'm gonna try. I could go all the way around there. Fuck it, we're going for a swim. Oh yeah. Whoa, that water is clear. Holy. Whoa. It's almost like the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. But it's the body of water at the end of Archer Track and it's going to be absolutely amazing oh man jumping off that would be good oh my god oh my lord let's go
Ooh, yep. Oh, that's that's it. Oh man. Oh, that's good. All right. Not bad. Alright guys, right halfway, I think, uh, all going well, all going well in about 50 metres, I'm going to clock my fastest mile, and being that it's on the way back, I'm pretty stoked, so let's keep it going, and stop now. Here we go. Fuck yeah. Can you see that? 9.23.45. Boom. So, let's check in. We're halfway back. Two hours, 17 minutes total. I think this entire walk will take under three hours. Walk slash jog, obviously. But we did just clock a 9 minute 40 or 9 minute 20 something mile, which means for the last 1600 meters or 1610 meters, I've been running at an average of under six minutes per kilometer. That's a win. Oh shit. All right. Whew. Okay, guys. Okay, here we are. Officially just made 13 miles on the trails, literally. The last mile for anyone interested was 11 minutes and 15 seconds, so I did jog it. I feel good about that. But here we are. Where, where it all started, where this journey started, guys. About 2 hours, 59 minutes and 22 seconds ago. So, before it clocks over to 3 hours, I will pause it. 19.33 kilometres. We're going to save it. I don't know if it's going to save. We're out of reception, but actually, what do we got? One new record. Oh, fuck, it's failed. Okay. Oh, fuck, there we go. Here we go. What do we got? 259.34, 19.33 Ks, 9, <laughs> nine minutes 17 per K on average, 1847 calories, um, you know, you know, I suppose being that we did stop a fair few times, went for a swim, a couple of stories along the way for your guys' entertainment and for mine, and uh, there we go, a three hour, officially three hour walk completed, sorry, a six hour walk return completed in two hours 59.34, so guys, 
this will be the final shot. I'm feeling extremely motivated, you know, extremely inspired. I really, really enjoyed that. And all I can say is I hope you guys did too. Now, if I was halfway, oh shit. If I was halfway, if this was halfway with the way that my legs are feeling, I mean, I'm not gonna say they're dead, but they're, you know, probably halfway dead. <laughs> So, let's finish this off right. Let's go down once again into Pizantz Bay. We saw Elaine Bay. It was pretty incredible. There was a couple of other really, really secluded bays along the way, which had um, just like walking tracks down to them. So obviously the only way to access them is either by boat, of course, which I keep forgetting about, or via these tracks so tell you what guys it's certainly worth it and um, you know this is it this is life this is this is living <laughs> this is living guys can't come down when you're always up you can't come down when you're always up in the wise words of puck life ain't no coming down right now so I'm hoping that just around this corner my ride's still here. And there she is. There she is. Right guys, time for another swim. It's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you in the next one. Peace.